Everyone is familiar with the elephant as a species. They're one of the most common animals to see at the zoo and one of the first animals we learn about as a child. We expect them to always be there. We never really think about them disappearing or going extinct. However, this, may, this just may be the case if things continue along the path they're currently going. As of right now, the majority of elephant species are either vulnerable or endangered. However, this video is going to focus on one of the largest groups of elephants, the African elephant. African elephants are currently a threatened species. This means that the species is not at the critical level of being endangered yet, but will likely reach this level in the near future if steps are not taken to protect it. The dangers that the African elephant is currently facing are habitat loss and poaching, with the more pressing issue being the problem of poaching. According to an article from The Atlantic, the number of African elephants has decreased dramatically from around 10 million 100 years ago to around 400,000 today. Not only does poaching cause a de decrease in the overall popula population, it also hurts the social dynamic within herds of elephants. Elephants are very social and intelligent creatures. Each herd of elephant consists of a group of related females with the oldest and largest female leading the group as the matriarch. Males will lay, live with the herd until they are about 12 to 15, then they will leave the group and live alone or with other males for a short period of time. The elephants that are most likely to fall victim to poachers are the ones with the biggest tusks. These are generally the matriarchs since they are the oldest and largest elephant, and being in a group makes it easier to spot them than the lone males. The loss of the matriarch of the herd is particularly hard on the group of elephants. Not only did they lose their leader, but they lost a member of their family. In addition, elephants are one of the few animals that are known to mourn their dead. They are known to caress the bones of the dead with their trunk and stand near the body of the deceased for hours. Sometimes they'll even try to bury their remains. The obvious intelligence and understanding of these elephants shows that this threat of extinction is affecting them in more than more ways than one. Along with the destruction of the species and loss of life, the surviving elephants are left with the emotional struggle of seeing so many of their relatives killed right in front of them. Poaching has had devastating effects on the elephant populations in African countries. In Western, Western Africa, poachers have killed off entire populations of elephants in, in and Eastern Africa has seen a nearly 50% decrease in their popula elephant population. However, despite these devastating losses, there's, there does seem to be hope for the survival of the African elephant species. Southern Africa has seen an increase in the population of its elephants. This is a good sign because it shows that it is possible to allow the elephant population to heal by putting laws in place to pr protect them from poachers. Another important aspect in ensuring the protection of African elephants is by putting a ban on ivory trade. In the UK, it is currently legal to trade antiques carved before, before 1947. This makes the UK the biggest exporter of, le of legal ivory in the world. However, the UK government has recently made the decision to ban the sale of all ivory. This decision coincides with China, the world's largest consumer of both legal and illegal ivory, announcing its plan to ban the domestic trade of ivory by the end of 2017, and also Hong Kong pledging to end its ivory trade by 2021. All of these bans are wonderful progress for the conservation of the African elephant. In recent news, the U.S. has been dealing with laws regarding the ban on trophy hunting. Earliest month, it looked like the U.S. would be lifting the ban on trophy hunting, which would be detrimental to the population of the African elephants by encouraging more people to kill them. Fortunately, it seems as if this ban will be here to stay. Over the past few days, President Trump has made a decision to put a stop to the lifting of the ban. According to an article from the New York Times, he called big game hunting a horror show that he did not believe helped conservation. Putting an end to the ivory trade is a worldwide project that needs the co cooperation of all countries to be successful. Elephants are a keystone species, which means that if they were to go extinct, it would be devastating to the whole ecosystem. They play important roles such as seed distribution and shaping the environment for other animals. 
The smaller animals that depended on the elephants to create pathways in the vegetation or dig up water with their trunks would be left without the resources they needed to survive. Similarly, the plants that depend on the animals to disperse their seeds would decrease in population because the main source of the seed of their seed dispersal, dispersal would be gone. It's important to protect the African elephant from extinction in order to maintain its role in the ecosystem and preserve biodiversity. As awareness about this issue spreads to more and more people, organizations like the World Wildlife Fund are able to step up and try to put a stop to illegal poaching and habitat loss. In an effort to com- combat the increase in poaching, the, de- the WWF trains law enforcement teams to conduct regular anti-poaching patrols. The WWF works with the government to help them develop strategies for elephant conservation and set up systems to monitor the illegal deaths of elephants. With continued effort from organizations like this and cooperation from the people, there just may be hope for the African elephant species to thrive once more. You can do your part to help protect this magnificent species by donating to organizations such as World Wildlife Fund and the 96 Elephants Campaign run by the Wildlife Conservation Society. Thank you.